Uh, there are growing calls to address these inequalities, particularly the wage inequality, mm -hmm. with more taxes. In particular, in the United States, there's been a call by Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez to tax uh, people earning over 10 million at a 70% tax rate. The current top rate in the United States is 37%. Uh, Michael Dell, do you support this? <laughs> I just want to say I'm thrilled that they're asking. Wow. Me. <laughs> um, well, look, I mean, uh, you know, my wife and I set up a foundation uh, about 20 years ago, and we would have contributed quite a bit more than a 70% tax rate on my income, on, on my annual income. And I feel much more comfortable with our ability as a private foundation to allocate those funds than I do giving them to the government. All right. <laughs> so no, I'm, I'm not supportive of that. Well, Keith. And, and, uh, and, and, <laughs> and, and, and I don't think it would help the growth of the US economy. Oh, that's interesting. And can you say a little bit more about why? Why you don't think it would? Well, name a country where that's worked, ever. United States. <laughs> <laughs> Briefly, in the 80s. No, no, no. For, from about the 1930s through about the 1960s, the tax rate averaged about 70%. Um, at times, it was up as high as 95%. And those were actually pretty good years for growth. So I, I don't have a strong opinion on that proposal. A lot of the devil is in the details. Um, but I think it's, uh, there's actually a lot of economics that suggests that it's not necessarily going to hurt growth. And I think we have to examine it more closely. There are people, uh, uh, Joe Stiglitz and others, who have looked at that and argued that the optimal tax rate actually is on very high incomes closer to that level.